Hi, my name is Michelle, and today I'm going to be discussing the negative effects that quad diets have on our bodies. So in today's society, we are often pressured to live a healthy lifestyle. In such a fast-paced society, we also try and find the quickest methods to losing weight. Little do you know that we're actually contributing to a $66 billion industry. This industry is so huge, and we often see advertising on social media, blogs, or just on TV. According to the American Council on Science and Health, over 45 million Americans participate in diets every year, and about 50% of those use fad diets. Fad diets are similar to fashion fads in that they are relevant for a short period of time. Many of these fad diets promise a quick fix to losing weight. There is also not a lot of research associated with many of these diets. This leads me to my claim that fad diets have effects that can create potential harm on the body. My, I would like to first point out that many of these fad diets can weaken the body. You may notice a lot of weight loss with these diets, but it's often not permanent. According to the health staff at LA Hay, when you participate in these diets, you lose muscle mass and not any weight. And when you come off of these diets, the weight that you lost is often just put back on by fat. These, diet, these diets will also not provide your body with enough nutrients. Many of these diets will cut out whole food groups. For example, cutting out carbohydrates from your diet is leaving your body without essential vitamins and minerals needed to live a healthy life. There are also many harmful side effects to many of these diets. Detox teas are a popular trend that are in use in the weight loss industry today. Many of these have a laxative, laxative effect, so that means that you can have discomfort in your abdominal, abdominal region and cramps while using the product. And later in life, you can have heart complications and other medical issues. Fat diets do not only affect your physical body, but also your mental, but also your mental state. According to Crystal Cargis, about 75% of college students are dissatisfied with their bodies. Some may take this as a way to help these people live healthier lifestyles. However, we are ignoring a huge part of this problem. Negative body image is what contributes to a lot to many people using fat diets. Since fat diets promise such a quick fix to losing weight, people often turn to them. However, many of these fat diets can lead to various eating disorders, such as anorexia, bulimia, and binge eating disorder. Finally, I would like to point out that many of these fat diets have very little medical backing. As we all know, all of our bodies are different, so that means that no diet can address everyone's issues. There are many individual weight loss plans out there that can help people lose weight on their own terms. Doctors also have many um, long-term methods that can help people lose weight. Diets are seen as temporary, fix temporary solutions to a lifelong problem. We need to start addressing the behavior that is associated with losing these diets. People often turn to them because they are such a quick fix, but in reality, they do not help people lose weight. Products also, products that are endorsed in the weight loss industry also have a very little efficiency. Many people that um, push the use of certain products that can be used for weight loss are not backed up by the FDA and often have very little research conducted on them. As I stated previously, detox teas are commonly used today. Many of these have no effect on your body composition. When people drink these teas, they may lose a few pounds but in reality, they're simply just losing water weight. A common drug that is put into these teas is called Zena, and it is recommended that you should not take these teas for more than a week at a time without medical supervision. Most of these teas, however, do, use, um, do recommend that you use the product for up to 28 days, which is way over the recommended dosage of the drug. And this can lead to severe, li severe liver damage in the body. This in conclusion, um, fad diets are not safe because they are have little to no research whatsoever and also can affect your body physically and mentally. Thank you.
All right, well, you start by sounding like you're going to discuss the topics, and I, that's an okay introduction. I was a little worried that that was going to be your proposition. Fortunately, you did have a more specific proposition that talked about fad diets having a negative effect uh, on the body, and so the, there is a claim here, a declarative statement that's going on there. I appreciate that. Uh, there's no preview of what the supporting structure is going to be, and in the body of the speech, I didn't really pick out a supporting structure. I found a lot of randomized items about uh, these diets uh, that need to be put together a little bit more efficiently so that it's easier to digest and remember uh, how the information belongs and connects to one another. Uh, there are a couple places where you cite some information. There's some data early on in the introduction about the number of people who are using these diets and, uh, you know, uh, the... the, the um, the number of people who are dissatisfied with their uh, appearance, for instance. Uh, what there isn't much of is data that shows some of these things, in fact, have the harmful consequences that you're talking about. Uh, I didn't hear any authoritative uh, medical information that linked uh, some of these diets to heart disease, but you claim at one point that they, ha they could have that potential problem. Uh, I heard you suggest that they uh, result in loss of muscle mass rather than fat, but I didn't hear any medical authority suggesting that. I, that's mostly your assertion. Um, there is a discussion about maybe alternatives existing for these issues uh, and that we need to address the behaviors instead, uh, but you don't have any information that shows how behavior modification is more effective than the fad diets in losing weight and whether or not behavior modification has any uh, concomitant issues with it to go along, you know, like to contrast with the fad diets, I don't know. Um, you know, the, the uh, criticism of the particular kinds of teas, that's a little bit more specific. Uh, you have some information that says they're not recommended for more than seven days. Uh, I don't know where that came from, but it sounds like you had some information, reason to believe that that's true. And then there's, arg then there's a follow-up that suggests that uh, most of these regimens recommend uh, that you use it for 28 days. And again, I, it sounds like you've got information someplace, but there's no source citation on it, so that's a little bit problematic. Um, you know, I, I'm not sure that there's a huge amount of controversy that fad diets aren't particularly desirable or appropriate, uh, but your argument is that they have uh, potential dangers, and I think we need to see some documentation of those dangers. I don't see any example of anybody who's hurt. I've got no statistic that shows us that uh, there's an increased risk for, uh, consult for using some of these diets. It's just kind of generic uh, criticisms of the diets, and it, I think we need some more data that's more particular on those points. All right, I can hear all the shuffling behind me.